Hey, thanks for stopping by. Have you ever wanted to use your pass-through on your Nova 24 and you had a thicker piece of wood, like a three-quarter inch piece of wood, and when you put it in there, the nozzle was too far down and you couldn't do it? Today I'm going to show you how to remedy that situation. It's easy to do. There's a couple of safety things that you've got to follow, but trust me, once you do this, you'll be able to put in three-quarter inch material, use your pass-through, and away you go. Let's check it out. So you'll notice right off the bat, if I have a three-quarter inch piece of material, that my nozzle is about half inch down lower than the surface. And so you, there's no way you would be able to use this piece of three-quarter inch and use it uh, with the pass-through in order to get it to either cut or engraved. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, this is set from the factory to use the autofocus. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little screw right here. This is the focus ring that's set uh, when you're using your autofocus. And we're going to loosen this screw right here and we're going to get it so this ring would drop down and therefore that gives us the ability to raise up this nozzle far enough where we've got plenty of clearance and we can focus on this three quarter inch piece of wood. Uh, we can, once we do that, we can do our work and then I'll show you how to refocus it so it's back to the way it was before so you can continue to use your autofocus. Just remember that once you adjust this, your autofocus is not correct. So you, you just always want to remember you've got to uh, uh, put this back to the way it was once you're done using the pass-through. Let's check it out. Before we get started, just a few things about safety. One thing that you always want to remember is never ever have anything on this laser bed when you turn your laser on. And the reason why I say that, if I had this three quarter inch piece of material laying on my laser bed like this, and my laser was off and it was out in the middle of the bed because maybe I used a, a user origin on my last project and just shut the machine off, the first thing the laser is gonna to wanna to do is go to that upper left hand corner. If you have a, a three quarter inch piece of material on your bed and you forget and you turn that laser off, you're gonna have a head crash. So it's just a good practice to make sure that before you start your laser, make sure there's nothing on the bed because if you'd have a crash in this situation, it would be bad. You would, you would mess up your laser. So just please be careful. Never have anything on your laser bed before you turn on your laser and you'll be good to go. So the first thing that you want to do is grab your Allen wrench set or your hex key set that you have that's supplied with your toolbox and you're going to need a number six hex key and so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to loosen up this little nut right here and that's going to loosen that ring and you notice that it just dropped this ring down and what that does is that gives us the ability now to go ahead and loosen up this gold knob and lift this up high enough to go ahead and put our focus piece in there and now we can go ahead and put our tighten it up put this and tighten this up this doesn't have to be real tight don't over tighten it and now we've got this focused at six millimeter we've got plenty of room to go ahead and slide in our three quarter inch material three quarter inch is about the maximum that you're going to get in this situation and then you go ahead and do your work just like you normally would and then uh, we'll have to put it back to the original so uh, the autofocus works and I'll show you how to do that next again just loosen this up drop it down lift your head put in your focus gauge here tighten it up push the ring back up tighten the ring up you're good to go Okay, now that you're all done with your pass-through project and you want to reset your automatic focus, so when you use your automatic focus, this is going to be six millimeters away from your work. Easiest thing to do is you go ahead and just take a piece, whatever it is, drop it down. I always, no matter what, I always move my head out of the way. That's just me. 
Always a good idea. So I've got a piece of material now, it doesn't really matter what thickness it is, and I have it between these two sensors, and I'm going to go to uh, Menu, and then scroll down to Autofocus, and hit Enter. The bed came up, sensed it, and it's currently sitting where it needs to. I'm going to drive my laser head over this piece of material. And you notice now that we are way off on our autofocus, and that's because we lifted up this lens to use it for our pass-through. So what we're going to do now is do just the opposite of what we did before. We're going to come in here. We're going to put our focus material in here. We're going to loosen this up. Sorry. We're going to loosen this up. We're going to drop this down. We're going to bring this ring back up so it's in its normal position. We're going to tight, tighten the fo focus ring back up. Tighten this back up. And we've just reset our autofocus. That's how easy it is. Well, as you can see, it's not hard to do to go ahead and adjust your Nova to handle three quarter inch material uh, using the pass through. Um, hope this information was helpful. As always, if you please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, thanks and have a great day.